The electricity sector of Kosovo relies on coal-fired power plants and is considered one of the sectors with the greatest potential of development. The inherited issues after the war in Kosovo and the transition period have had an immense effect on the progress of this sector. Regulation of activities in energy sector in Kosovo is a responsibility of the Energy Regulatory Office an additional factor in the energy sector in Kosovo is Ministry of Economic Development MZHE, which has the responsibility of dealing with issues that have to do with energy. MZHE prepares legislation and drafts strategies and projects. <laughs> Policy and regulation The main institutions responsible for the energy sector management in Kosovo are, Ministry of Economic Development and Energy Regulatory Office Important responsibilities are also held by the Ministry of Environment and Spatial Planning, the Ministry of Trade and Industry, the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Rural Development, and the Ministry of Infrastructure. Besides government institutions, there are also companies with great impact in energy sector such as Kosovo Energy Corporation Transmission, System and Market Operator and Kosovo Electricity Distribution and Supply A lot of legislative documents that aim the adjustment of electricity sector have been approved. This includes, laws, administrative instructions and strategic documents. All this legislative framework is drafted relying on EU corresponding documents. Electricity generation Coal plants Lignite exploitation in Kosovo started in 1922. New mines were opened to satisfy the needs by increasing generation capacities. Kosovo Energetic Corporation is a public company, which owns and operates with generation assets of electric energy. The greatest part of generation capacities of Kosovo are the two power plants, Kosovo A and Kosovo B. There is a third plant, Kosovo C, currently being planned. The capacities of the two power plants are lower than the installation parameters level, because of the outdated system and lack of maintenance during the last decade of the 20th century. The first unit of Kosovo A power plant started working in 1962 with a power of generation 65 megawatts. The last unit A5 was built in 1975. A1 and A2 units are out of function and they are planned to be decommissioned. A3, A4 and A5 units are still in function. Kosovo B power plant is composed of two units. The first unit was built in 1983 with a capacity of 340 megawatts, while the second unit was built in 1984 with the same power of generation. The conditions in Kosovo B power plant have improved after recent investments. The power plants and coal mines are located in Kastriot Abilic, only 3 km away from the borders of the municipality of Pristina. Technical and commercial losses and the conditions of the power plants together with the high debts have brought KEK in a difficult financial situation. <laughs> <laughs> Hydro power The only major power station outside of KEK is Yuzhmani Gazavoda hydroelectric power plant which is administrated by the hydro-economic enterprise Iba Le Penk. Hydroelectric power generation is mainly provided by Yuzhmani power station with a capacity of 70 MW. In the past, Kosovo has had four functional hydroelectric power plants. After the 1999 war they stopped working, but they have been rehabilitated in the recent years. Lombardi Hydroelectric Power Plant was rehabilitated in 2005. A private company has rent it for a period of 20 years. Its capacity of generation is 23 megawatts. Dikanki Hydroelectric Power Plant is rented and started functioning in 2010, with a capacity increased from 15 megawatts to 28 megawatts. 
Radovci Hydroelectric Power Plant was rehabilitated in 2010 from a company which has rented it. Its capacity was increased from 15 MW to 30 MW. Barimi Hydroelectric Power Plant was rented and its capacity was increased from 10 MW to 25 MW. <laughs> <laughs> Wind There are a few areas in Kosovo where the wind reaches the necessary speed to be used for wind farms. The only wind farm in Kosovo was installed in Golish by a private company, and started working in 2010. Shortly after, the farm stopped functioning, because the Energy Regulatory Office refused to pay the tariffs required by the company. The Aero officials stated that the plants were outdated. Further studies are required before investments in this field. In 2018 the firm, Enlight Renewable Energy Solutions, bought the rights of a project consisting of 27 wind turbines, and the plants has a planned capacity of 105 MW. <laughs> <laughs> Climate Change Kosovo has potentials of using solar energy directly and by converting it to electrical energy, but it costs too much for Kosovo's economy. Solar energy is already used in some buildings and it has benefited to international organizations founds. However the subcompany of Jaha Group, Jaha Solar, was founded in 2016, and is the only producer of solar panels in the Western Balkans. Topic. Electricity consumption Consumption of electrical energy in Kosovo has increased continuously. This is mostly caused by commercial losses. Furthermore, the constant increase of economic development and population have increased the energy demands. Generation of energy from power plants has increased year by year, while the generation of energy from hydroelectric power plants has decreased. To cover the request Kosovo imports energy in certain periods of time mostly during the winter. Import-export Import covers 5–10% of the consumption. Usually, in Kosovo the imported energy is much more expensive than export. This is because Kosovo imports energy one day before needed, in the other hand energy is exported during the night when the demands are under generating level. Imports and exports have a negative impact for electrical energy price. Transmission Transmission System and Market Operator was founded in 2006. It is a public company, responsible for operation, planning, maintenance and development of transmission network and interconnection with neighboring energetic systems, in order to retain supply insurance in Kosovo. KOSTT is also responsible for the operation of electrical energy market in Kosovo. Kosovo is part of the regional energy community and is connected with the regional system through interconnections with Serbia, Macedonia, Montenegro and Albania. Kosovo is a key point in Southeast Europe because of its geographic position in the center of the region. Electrical energy transmission system is connected with neighboring systems in 400 kV level, except with Albania with whom, this connection is going to start to build in the near future. Distribution Kosovo Energy Distribution and Supply Company is a company operating throughout Kosovo having the exclusivity for electricity supply and distribution in the territory of Kosovo. Since May 2013, Kosovo Energy Distribution and Supply split from Kosovo Energy Cooperation and started its operational activities as a joint stock company. KEDS is owned now by Turkish companies Kalik Holding and Lamak. KEDS is considered as one of the largest employers in Kosovo, having 2,618 employees. 
Furthermore, over 450,000 customers are provided with electricity supply covering household customers, commercial and industrial customers. Currently there are three main projects concerning distribution, construction of medium voltage distribution facilities of the new 110 tenths 20 kV Pristina 7 substation, expansion and reinforcement of the low voltage distribution network 2013, and expansion and reinforcement of the medium voltage distribution network 2013. Additionally, KEDS intends to invest €110 million Euros on the five forthcoming years and €300 million Euros on 15-year period. Tariffs Energy Regulatory Office is an independent company which sets the regulatory framework founded on the principles of free trade. The energy price is determined by different factors, operative cost, maintenance cost, import and other factors. The decrease of commercial and technical losses would affect positively. Factors that have kept the low prices until now are, foreign investments as grants, government subventions, the lack of investments for environment protection and inexpensive labor force. KEK generating about 97% of the energy has the monopoly of market. Aero has the jurisdiction of setting tariffs for energy services. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Power plants impact on environment and health. Environment protection is a mission of the Ministry of Environment and Spatial Planning (MMPH). Since most of electric power is produced by power plants in Kosovo they are considered as the main environment pollutant. Actual emission of gases, dust and waste water discharged from the existing power plants, are above the levels allowed by the EU directives. According to the World Bank statistics, 835 deaths, 310 new cases of chronic bronchitis, 22,900 new cases of respiratory diseases among children, 11,160 emergency visits to countries' hospital and there is a €100 million Euros loss are caused each year because of coal plants. <laughs> Energy efficiency. Kosovo Agency for Energy Efficiency – KAEE is executive institution under the Ministry of Economic Development. KAEE implements energy efficiency policies through evaluating energy saving opportunities and implementing energy efficiency measures in all sectors of energy consumption. This agency has drafted energy efficiency legislative frameworks aiming to implement the best EU practices. The World Bank is preparing a project of $32.5 million in order to finance investment, and to technically support the strengthening of renewable energy regulation and policies. Cooperation Based on the increase of demand, the role of import is essential to provide stable supplement. Kosovo has signed several agreements for cooperation on energy sector with Albania. The fact that the electrical energy system of Albania relies on hydro energy almost 100%, while Kosovo relies on power plants, is a great opportunity for cooperation between the two countries. Moreover, a 400 kV interconnection line is in its final proceeding before the beginning of building. The Kosovar Ministry of Economic Development has negotiated with Montenegrin and Macedonian economy institutions to deepen the cooperation, especially in the energy sector. <laughs> New alternatives for energy Kosovar e re is a project for building a new power plant. The building of this power plant would fulfill the needs for electric power in Kosovo. This project has been modified several times. Minister of Economic Development, Fadl Ismaili, claimed that Kosovo e re is due to being built in 2015. Zhur Hydroelectric Power Plant Project is a new opportunity for using reliable energy potentials. It is evaluated that Zhur HPP generation capacity would be 305 megawatts. 
The project is pending because of the high cost, limited capacities and issues that relating with the use of water with Albania, studies have shown that beside hydroelectric power plants there are other alternatives to lignite power plants. It is considered that an ideally located solar collector in Kosovo can produce 1,600 kWh per meter 2 per year. A study made by Energy and Recourses Group University of California claims that the approximate energy that Kosovo could generate from biomass resources is 6,600 gigawatt-hours per year. While neighboring countries, Macedonia and Serbia, generate a portion of their electric power by using geothermal sites, in Kosovo there is a lack of studies on this field. See also Economy of Kosovo Natural resources of Kosovo Environmental issues in Pristina